Get up to speed with Sarah Scarlett. Good afternoon, I'm Sarah Scarlett with Ozarks Fox. I'm stopping by to get you up to speed on today's top headlines. Record rainfall caused widespread flash flooding across St. Louis overnight, killing at least one person. Authorities say a body was pulled from a car submerged in about eight and a half feet of water. The flooding closed multiple roads. Emergency crews responded to several water rescues and over 13,000 households in the St. Louis metro area were without power early this morning because of the storms. Now to an update in the Cassidy Rainwater murder case. Today, the Dallas County judge granted confidentiality to the prosecution's witnesses, meaning we won't know who's testifying before the trial. Timothy Norton is charged with first degree murder, kidnapping and disposing of Rainwater's body. The prosecution changed some of its language, prompting Norton to re-enter a not guilty plea for all three felony charges. Norton is being held at the Greene County Jail. His next court appearance in Dallas County is set for January 24th. Former President Donald Trump was in Washington, D.C. for the first time since leaving office to speak at a conference hosted by the America First Policy Institute. He focused on crime in this year's midterm elections. At the same time, his former Vice President Mike Pence also gave a speech in D.C. He touched on his desire to look to the future and not at his political past. Some political analysts believe Trump and Pence are the GOP frontrunners for the presidential nomination in 2024. New apartments and retail stores are coming to Galloway Village. Springfield City Council unanimously approved the redevelopment project during last night's meeting. Council rejected another proposal to build a drive through coffee shop near Sunshine and Jefferson over traffic concerns, but it could be zoned for other commercial use. While the Mega Millions lottery jackpot grows to nearly $800 million, no ticket matched all six winning numbers during Friday night's drawing. According to Mega Million Lottery, the next jackpot will now be worth $790 million. That would be the fourth largest lottery jackpot in U.S. history. The next drawing is scheduled for tonight. The Mega Millions Lottery says if there's a lucky winner, the cash option will be more than $460 million. Well, if you've ever dreamed of having your own Lego, here's your chance. The toy maker is letting you design your own minifigure. The company launched its online minifigure factory in the U.S. It lets you create a Lego of yourself. You can pick the heads, legs, torso, and accessories. The custom-made minifigures cost about $12 and can be made at lego.com. That's all the time we have for now. You can find these stories on our website, ozarksfirst.com. I'll see you back here at 630 on Ozarks Fox. Have a great afternoon.